Hello? Oh, I can hear you now, and uh, no, oh. no delay anymore. Oh, great, Daniel. How have you been? <laughs> uh, we've been good, mate. Uh, I've been good. My trainer was uh, coming over for for a week here to train with me, and uh, and he's a uh, he he knew you for a long time. He went to one of your concerts in like 2009 or eight, something like this. Oh, fantastic! And... I hope I hope he said good things. Yeah, so we listen some of uh, your music on our trainings. <laughs> oh, cool. well, I hope it helps. Yeah. Man. Some of the tunes are perfect, the perfect rhythm, the perfect tempo for working. So how's, yes. your, how's your body feeling? How are you feeling getting it's back? It's good, at... ready. Yeah. We're ready to go, man. Yeah, we are finally ready now. Yeah, oh, it's, not it's long, time to man. go. Time to yeah. go. Yeah, your patience must be running out, but it must be so buzzing to get going. Well, I'm ready for my very first race <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> Have you been practicing? Yes, I have. They have. I got I got a simulator dropped off at home. So for the last five days, I've been pretty much eating and sleeping in that seat. So I'm I'm lucky that the Canada, wow. <laughs> the, the Canadian track or in the Montreal track, it's not too difficult. But I, I'm going off the track an awful lot, so I'm getting a lot of penalties, which is really frustrating because it's really it's really hitting my time. You know, like yeah. I, it's, yeah, yeah, it's it's on the. I think I played it on the on the sim once and uh, here, uh, and the uh, the penalty is very harsh. Sometimes you think you're even on the track, but sometimes somehow it still gives you the the penalty. So it's important, like to keep it tidy, you know, uh, in there. Yeah, I found out the hard way. I get disqualified earlier on. I don't know how many time penalties it takes to just get disqualified, but I get disqualified, and I was extremely embarrassed. So. I definitely need to keep an eye on that. It's it's okay, man. Look, just keep it tidy. Try to in the race, you know, for sure a lot is going to happen there, especially because online racing, nobody is, uh, you know, fully fully on it there. So I think if you just keep it tidy uh, through first couple of laps and uh, just like you said, stay on, on the track. Try to avoid like big uh, uh, big problems with others. I think yeah. uh, you you'll get a good track position and you'll be able to then do your own clean race. Yeah. Well, I have a feeling that I've been checking everyone else's time, so I think I'll be I'll be at the back of the grid, no doubt. But that probably will help me in the first corner because I can kind of let all the carnage take place in front of me, and then just kind of try and dodge my way through it. So that's my plan when I get in there. Um, and, but I've got all my, I think I've got all the turns. I, I'm really struggle with the turn three and four, just turning down down the kind of slope it's the inside line i always end up that's where i always end up leaving the track and it, but because it's such a blind corner it, you kind of have to have the faith when you're going into it but i just i guess it's just turning at that at the 50 it may not even be the 50 meter line 50 meter board but basically i, I either turn too early and my angle's too shallow or i'm just too late and i just can't get it but so should i do that would I do that third corner in fourth gear or third gear? Do you reckon fourth gear? Yeah, it's a tricky corner. No, I, I know it's also difficult in in, in real life because it's uh, the curbs are quite uh, you know uh, tricky to take also, and I guess it can give you the time penalty because you can cut a bit more on the simulator. Yeah. So, okay. And and. Uh, and so try to find your good reference point of turning, like you already said, you already start to, to look at the 50 meter board, mm -hmm. which is good. And uh, yeah, try to even experiment, maybe uh, just drive alone a bit, uh, try to cut the corner more, see where is the limit, see. Okay. But it's important, like, like you know, uh, to prepare the chicane very well. You want yeah. to enter maybe a little bit slower, but then to get a good momentum out of it. and. Um, Okay, that, the wall. That all my be I mean, obviously, all, all my best laps have been when I've just taken it that little bit slower into the corners and just getting that fast exit. That that's definitely making a big difference to me. Right here we go. So we are we're not gonna look, you know, yeah. uh, turn one and two and. So yeah, it breaks yeah. halfway through that kind of mark in the track. 
Yeah, it's try to prepare good. second uh, corner quite well, yeah. Yeah, that's. I don't want to overshoot that. I want to take that as tight as yeah. possible. Break there. And here, here the same. You see, you're in the middle of the track between the two corners, so you okay. attack the first one a bit, but not too much. And here this you need to cut on okay. the inside curb yeah, as much as you can. Yeah, and get enough speed through past that second corner there. Yeah, obviously, and, uh, it's chicanes, uh, circuits, you need to prioritize the exits quite a lot. Yeah, this is a trick. Should I drift to the left before I turn right on that corner? No, don't, don't, no. never. Just break straight and then turn. Don't, uh, don't do this uh, left, okay. right. No. Okay. This corner is not classic. Yeah, classic. Yeah, one. that kind of is what it is. It's either a good corner for me or a terrible corner for me. <laughs> <laughs> so here, this chicane is a. Uh, it's called World of World of Champions on the exit because uh, <laughs> many champions hit that. Uh, Wall. Have you managed? Have you managed to miss? Have you ever hit into the wall, Daniel? This way? I I kissed that wall a couple of times. I'm just flirting with it at the moment. <laughs> oh man, I cannot imagine. See, see with over the course of the Grand Prix as well, Daniel. Should I? I was recommended to potentially just do one pit stop. It's like a 35 lap. We're just doing like a 50 percent race. Yeah. Do you think I could get away with one pit stop, or should I go for two pit stops? It depends how your tire degradation is, you know. Uh, if if you feel like everyone is faster than you, uh, you should then box. Maybe change. Okay, okay. Maybe ch make a change. But yeah, if if you you need to try this uh, 35 laps race before, maybe simulate it by yourself. Yeah. See like see what works best for you and, and if the tire is last or not. And if they do with one pit stop, then you should try to do one pit stop in uh, in, uh, in 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 the real Grand Prix too. Okay, it definitely felt it felt a little. The tires, they definitely felt thin. The grip was really going by like ten laps. So I wonder if if I should maybe just have the two pit stops and just try and maximize my speed rather than. You know. yeah, exactly. Then try that because then the end in the end uh, you do yeah two pit stops. Uh, you can push. You don't need to fight the tire degradation too much. You can focus on your race. Uh, yeah, so exactly. Because so then try it's, that. It's the adapting my driving. I'm not quite so good. I've got I've got a kind of technique that works when the when the tires are good and when it's okay. kind of starting to get slipped. I'd, I'd almost rather stay in the grip. See, no see one the... likes a uh, low grip. Oh man. <laughs>
is doing the fourth gear. I think gear. fourth gear would be right, yes. Okay, great. But to gain confidence, and sometimes in a race when the car is heavy, you can start off with a with a third gear and gradually migrate into fourth gear. Okay, okay. And see, yeah. can I also ask your opinion on the fuel mix? Which, yeah, I, I, it's a different thing again. I think on the game, but there's only like uh, lean, medium, and rich. I think or, there is two, three, four, no? Well, there, actually, you don't during the Grand Prix. You don't have the max. So on only your, one, your two, qualifying, three. so it's just one, two, three during the race. So as a rule, should it should it be rich on the straights and any slower corner sections go to lean? Is that like? Is that a good rule of thumb or does it not work like that? Try to, since you're doing two pit stops, maybe try to spend a bit most of the time in uh, in two. Okay. So that it's not very aggressive, you know, fuel waste. Right. And uh, and then when you're f battling with someone, maybe when you're defending or attacking someone, just go to two, three. Okay, okay. And maybe if you see that you have enough fuel left with five, six laps to go, use everything. Just okay, fantastic. So would I yeah. never really switch to lean? Would there be a, ever be an occasion that I would? If you are alone and you are faster than anyone, like behind you, why not try it? Okay. Try to go to one so that you can save more for the last laps. Right. Uh, yeah. That's... Why not? Okay. Okay. I, I don't think or... that's likely to happen. <laughs> yeah, but then if if you're really like, if you have no one behind you and you want to save some fuel go to one just for that long back straight no before the okay. last corner okay great great if that's you have enough uh, if you have enough spare brain for this oh fantastic fantastic but maybe like rent a small boat here in Monaco and just uh, go fishing or something, you know. Oh, good. The fishing relaxes you. Do you quite like to fish? Yeah, we have uh, just, you know, easy time, just a bit of sun, uh, lunch together. And uh, just oh, because okay. I know that soon we start uh, racing and uh, I'll not have uh, uh, six, I'll have six months of really like uh, yeah. hard pushing. Well, everything so. you eat, you'll need to watch everything you eat, every, every moment of sleep and everything. It's, yeah. It, it's insane. It's um, what about your? I know you said you like your UFC. Do you do any MMA training? Yeah. So my boxing gym in my building is a reopening again, and uh, I've been doing last uh, last ten days uh, a few boxing sessions. Yeah. Ah, good. Uh, is that mainly just, for for reaction time to your hands? The boxing's good. I just <laughs> really like uh, boxing. You know, I just it's like my second favorite sport. I just like to. Uh, my, one day maybe I would like to do an amateur fight. Oh, fantastic. And, uh, and uh, I do it because in the end you have to always keep your hands up, no? And uh, uh, yeah. it's, it's it's burning here all the time, no? So yeah. it's the same muscles that work in racing. So it's very it's efficient, you know. Oh, fantastic! Helps. Yeah, I did I did kickboxing for a few years, and that was the first thing I noticed was keeping those hands up, because like, your instinct is just your hands wither away. So it was yeah, unbelievable exactly. how quick. Oh, brilliant! So this will be the only time in your career that you've had such a break, surely? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's quite I mean, uh, long. It's been, and everyone yeah. will be everyone will be in the same boat. That's what's strange as well, because normally it would feel like you'd maybe had an injury or something, but everyone has stopped for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah, a few months now. But everyone is hungry, so I know I'm hungry for sure. But uh, oh. I sh I'm sure everyone else is hungry too. <laughs> There'll be a lot of frustration on the track. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. It will be calm enough, everyone. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, listen, th thank you so much for your tips on this course. It's uh, my pleasure. I, I really appreciate it, and I'm, 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 I hope I do you proud, brother. I don't want to. Do, I don't want to. I'll be following you. No, no, oh. you will not in any way. You will not. So, have you tried the upshift without assistance? Yes. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing just manual raw, so no good, no assistance or anything. Um, I tried getting rid of the traction control and everything. I wasn't yeah. quite, I wasn't quite at that level. So yes, yes, yes. Do, do you think, is it, yeah, so am I best just sitting, working on the setup I have just now rather than trying to do that and trying to do it without breaking? Yeah, try not to think about it too much. You know, you're already big step that you upshift and downshift by yourself. If you do it constantly, good job, honestly, yeah, like it's okay. enough. 
traction control if you can get down to medium control mm -hmm. it would be great it will help you a bit to be faster okay. Okay, and that. to switch it switch it off i think will take a lot of experience so just okay. uh just yeah. don't worry about it well, good job that. already on, on upshifting by yourself it's such a rhythm when i first started doing it i thought i i, I didn't think i was ever going to get it down but you just you yeah. see you see the lights out the corner of your eye and you just you feel the rhythm of the engine you know, it's yeah. amazing how quickly it kind of becomes part of you, you know, and I'm sure when you're actually in the car, it's insane how much it just feels like an extension of your body. But even the game, I'm like, right, I feel it, I feel it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, you know, when I wake up in the mornings, like I, I am, uh, I am uh, <laughs> upshifting and downshifting, but then I realize I'm not in the car. <laughs> like you playing that? guitar. In fact, actually, about... 10 years ago when, you know, the game Grand Theft Auto, when, when that first yeah. came on the market, I played it so much. And then uh, during bedtime at uh, night, I would, I would start to attack my wife. I'm not at all surprised <laughs> you're racing in your sleep, man. <laughs> it's good that you didn't try to kick anyone in the supermarket or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I tell you, at the moment, at the moment I could attack anyone in the supermarket. <laughs> you're danger, a public so, danger. <laughs> do, you dream, do you dream about racing quite a lot? uh you know i think when we are racing a lot sometimes yes actually sometimes like just, i'm actually yeah doing my qualifying lap sometimes during uh, oh, while i sleep man. sometimes oh, sometimes man. It, it can be the same that you are really bad really slow and you just you're just getting overtaken by everyone or sometimes you can be driving like wow like uh, better oh, than anyone so it, that's it's dream. one dream is like this and the one dream is different so <laughs> as long as it doesn't correlate to the actual driving the actual race you know because if you had a bad race stream the night before and then you and then you race badly that would just be the worst thing to me <laughs> like, yeah yeah that would be oh. bad but no thankfully it didn't happen so <laughs> oh good daniel well listen thank you so so much for your time today thanks for telling me how it's done and I'll, as i say i hope to do you proud Good to hear you. Good to hear from you, man. And uh, just enjoy the experience. Don't think about it too much. You don't need to make anyone proud. Just uh, uh, just put in there what you learned. And uh, I think you'll be fine. Thank you, brother. Well, I feel to be part of the Alpha Tori team means a lot to me. For one Good. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think you have potential to go faster than Pierre. So just uh, come on, Pierre. I've got, you, I've got your number. <laughs> oh, no, Pierre, yeah, yeah. He's pretty good. He's pretty good on it, I think. I, th I think you I think you'll overtake him you'll be fine oh, I love it I love it this is not going to start a fight between you and Pierre is it <laughs> no no it's okay it's okay you will understand <laughs> oh good thanks man well listen thanks so much Daniel you're a gent cheers Simon